Well, what is up, everyone? Welcome back to Kitchen Table TCG. My name is Louie. We're going to do another Cryptic TCG uh, for you, another video for Cryptic TCG. This is going to be a gameplay video, kind of my second game here. I'm with Q, who is on staff with Cryptic TCG. They have a Kickstarter that's launching. Is it this week, Q? Uh, it should be on the 15th. I don't know what day it is at any given point in time. So yes, it is this week. Yeah, it's four <laughs> days from now, which is awesome. So you'll get an opportunity to check out how this game plays, how Cryptic plays. This is my second game. Uh, the first game was, it's super easy to pick up and learn, especially if you've played Magic the Gathering. Now this is not in any way a Magic the Gathering clone. There's a lot of different things to this game that add and change up the kind of that model of game really cool uh before we get there though we do have to give away four of these sample uh, test packs that i got that i promised i would give away let me pop up the window capture here this was the video we did you can see the the link here i'm just going to use this website this youtube random comment picker there were 74 comments on this video it was a lot of fun to hear what you guys thought of the artwork uh and the just general idea of cryptic super cool so we're just going to pick four random winners here and those four people will get a uh a, a sample pack so kick in music congratulations you got one shoot me an email at kitchen table tcg at gmail.com if this is you with evidence it's you just take a screenshot uh let's do another one uh we've got jimbo clembo we've got said gamma best gameplay so far there was no gameplay hey, congratulations and then we've got Foyo Games. Nice. Give me a pack. Give me, give me. Well, you got it, buddy. Uh, so those are our four winners. So make sure you shoot me an email at kitchentabletcg at gmail.com, and I will make sure to get you those things. All right. Uh, Q. So let me give yeah. a, a quick overview. Make sure you chime in anything that I get wrong here. Let's give them a quick well, just kind of idea. You've got the island, which is kind of your gameplay area. Your citizens are going to go into the island. They will be attacking uh, the 11 year card, which is mm -hmm. this row right here. You have your six 11 year cards. In order yep. to destroy your opponent, you must first destroy their six 11 year cards. At which point, then you must destroy them. You must attack your opponent. If you deal any damage to your opponent, you win. Uh, meanwhile, you have your soul row, which is essentially like in Magic where you would put your lands. But in this game, you don't have lands. Every card has a resource attached to it. So basically, you're attacking. You attack specific 11-year cards. Then you're as a defender, you get to choose whether or not you defend or whatever. The nice thing about those 11 year cards is as they get destroyed, they actually go to your hand or you have the ability to play them in an instant, basically, uh, for a discounted cost. Was that a pretty good overview? Q? Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> awesome. And you have set up an amazing TTS mod. I will uh, link that in the comment section where we can just hit the start button and it like draws up, right? And right. it even shuffles the decks. Oh, I didn't have to do I, that. I don't trust the... I don't trust just one shuffle. I always shuffle it a little bit beforehand. Yeah, I like shaking the mouse around and going like this. It's a lot of fun. All right, you ready to go? I just beat yeah. you, for the record, everyone. I just beat the creators yeah. of the game. So you know I'm great. All right. All right. So do you want to roll for first? Yeah, that works. All righty. Oh, that's a really cool dice, too. All right, two. I, dice don't like me. My characters die. Hey, quite a... three. Yeah. All right. Uh, that was a uh, tipped. No, <laughs> All right. Here we go. I'm hitting start. So as we draw up, I'm going to take a look into Mulligan. How do Mulligans work? So basically, you just take any cards in your hand that you don't like. You are then able to shuffle those back into your deck, and then you sh draw that many after you shuffle. Okay. So there's no like penalty to Mulliganing. No, but you can only do it once. Okay, so as I'm looking at these cards, everyone, if you see the bottom right, uh, this card, Blue Ruin, can be uh, added to my soul row and then can be utilized as either a white or black mana. If you, What is it actually called? Not mana, right? Uh, soul power. Soul power, just basically a resource. And then the mm -hmm. middle of the card, you see uh, three different colors and then one generic. So this card costs four. Three of those have to be white or black. Uh, so that's to play it. And then the bottom left of the card is what would, if this was in the uh, soul, what's this called? Not the 11-year row. If this was an 11-year card that got destroyed, 
I could play Br Blue Ruin for three generic instead of the cost, or I can just put it into my hand. So that's essentially what you're getting uh, on your card. So I'm going to take Mulligan wise. I'm going to Mulligan this one. And uh, that is it. I'm going to shuffle. Alrighty. And then I'm going to draw one. And then I'm I'm going first, so I do not get to draw a card on my turn, correct? Correct. All right. I will play this blue ruin as a soul. And then I will tap it to play our good friend Tojo. So Tojo costs one. It is a 4-4. Four, four. It cannot be blocked by citizens with a total soul cost of three or more. All righty. Might go. I pass you. Cool. Uh, I think you will find that this time I won't take nearly as much uh, early game damage from a, t a single Tocho. There you go. Uh, so I'm going to play Ayla. <laughs> Perfect. So now I can block it. Um, but not only that, but I could start an arms race right now where it would just be us attacking back and forth, probably. Uh, but I think I'll play it more passively and I'll pass the turn. Awesome. I will say also one of the cool things about this game, it's you get, uh, what's the time thing called? Uh, oh, short time. So yes. Yeah. So when you are, uh, when you have fewer 11 year cards than your opponent, you are on short. Oh, oh you oops. hit start a second time. Is there an undo on that? Yep. There okay. we go. So uh, yeah. So as you kill or as you become short on time when you have less 11 year cards than your opponent, then that gives some of the cards in your hand uh increased abilities um or and also the benefit of being on short time is that you're typically up on card advantage because you will draw the cards that are destroyed from your 11 year row yeah okay uh now i'm gonna drop a hmm I'm gonna drop this here in the soul. Mm -hmm. I tap one. Oh, uh, tap one for. Let's see, that is black, right? Yep, black mm -hmm. and black, and I will play. Vidar. Uh, Alamus. Uh, play Oisen. Oisen. I. You've told yeah. me eight times how to pronounce it. It was only three. You're good. <laughs> Q is a, was a linguist, so he doesn't like that I mispronounce things, which is rough on oh, my channel. No, no, it's fine because every single TCG content creator can't pronounce anything. It's you know that's how I know you're legit. <laughs> I will not block because or not attack because if I did, you would destroy Tocho. No, they would actually trade or yeah. they they would they would sit there and they wouldn't kill each other because my oh, yeah. attack yeah. is only three and my yeah. defense is five, so. I can't math. Nothing would happen. I can't, pr I can't pronounce things or math. So, yeah. Your turn. Those are my two favorite things. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to untap or disengage uh, for magic people there. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and put down a soaring cascade in my 11 year row. And then I will play uh theodore and that lets me probe one which is draw one and then discard one okay. so i will discard a Celine. so if he was short on time meaning if i had if he had less 11 year cards than i he would get to instead of probe one he would instead get to draw one and then probe one so as you get destroyed and as you get weaker you act your cards actually get some of them get stronger which i think is a really cool right. mechanic like a uh, soaring cascade here in my soul row if i had played this while i was on short time instead of just looking at the top one card in my library i would look at the top three yeah artwork is also fantastic oh yeah just big need, fan of need the to art. say that on the on the recording so all right also we had uh three of our artists were ukrainian and they were affected by what was going on in there and so uh we were able to set up a uh, get like an auction for one of our test boxes, and they were able to get um, the proceeds from that. Yeah, it was awesome. I remember hearing about that. It's like thousands of dollars, right? Mm -hmm. 
Uh, it was the the box went for sixty two hundred, and so that got evenly split between the three of them. That's awesome. Okay. Anyway, is that your? Uh, uh, well, yeah, Oisin's a little too large for Ayla, so I'm gonna go ahead and pass. Look at the guy's skull too. All right, disengage. I, I love that you I just have a button for art. this. That I just get to hit it. Uh, yeah. I it took me about a week to set up the table because this is my first instance of like actually learning how to program. Um, so it took about a week, but now I could probably do it in like forty minutes. I like it. All right. Uh... Ooh, I like that. I had to look at other tabletop simulator uh, mods and see what they did, and then reverse engineer it, and then make our game work. Classic. Uh, I'll play. No, this is probably a mistake because I'm not really gonna need green that much. Just a splash. Hmm. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna tap three. I'm gonna play Felicity, which we can't see the artwork yet. It's being hidden from us because it's gonna be revealed in a future time, and then. Oh, man, if I attack with, oh, that we, that we would trade there, that'd mm -hmm. be kind of nice. Yeah. Abolish target citizen with a soul cost of two or less. Yeah. All right. I'm going to engage and sacrifice Oizen and destroy Isla. Uh, oh, yeah, never mind. So no, oh, never mind, never mind. I'm not gonna do that. Sorry, I thought okay. I, didn't, I didn't realize Theodore was only two. Or, sorry, I do negate. Yeah, um, I didn't realize Theodore was only a two cost. Mm -hmm. Dang, that's a powerful card for two. Uh, yeah. So a lot of the um, like, so all the one cost uh citizens have like a cumulative total of stats of eight, typically. Um, and then all the citizens with a cumulative or that cost two have a cumulative total of 12. Gotcha. So it's like, but depending on the, the strength of their abilities or, and other things, then we pull yeah. back on that. Like you've seen Einar, he only is a two, two, but that really doesn't matter to how the card functions. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I definitely don't want to, uh, to do that then. Uh, I think I'm just going to pass, honestly. Yeah, okay. I'm going to go ahead and start my turn. Um, dang, that's a nice Felicity you got there. It'd be a real shame if I were to uh, send it back to your hand. Boo. All right. Okay, and then... With that, I think we're going to swing with Theodore. Gloves come off. Cool. So Theodore at this. So when you attack mm -hmm. again, everyone, he's attacking my 11-year cards here. With Theodore, which is a 7-5. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Do I have anything that... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let go. Okay. So I'm going to let it go through. And then I flip this face up so that you can see it. Mm -hmm. And then it goes to my hand. Well, it it does cost zero from the 11-year Oh, yeah, yeah. I always forget that crap. Okay. So I could look at your hand, choose a card, discard. Yeah, I definitely want to play that. So I get to look at your hand, choose a card from their hand, and the opponent discards that card. You are not short on time, so the rest doesn't apply. Yeah. Okay, uh, so that goes in my limbo, and then I get, this is your hand right here? Right here, yep. Okay, uh, so I get to discard this. I don't like sidestep. I don't like that one that much either. Oh, I hate Uros. <laughs> yeah, I get rid of Uros. All right. That's the one that you guys said you were going to nerf, so I don't want to play against it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're pretty great. All right. 
Uh, so uh, we, this is our first combat. I didn't really, we didn't really explain that. So in combat, it works like magic. You have phases. So you have your main phase, you have your untap or disengage phase, sorry. Then you have your main phase where you play things. Then you have your attack phase and you have to declare all of your attackers at the same time. And then we have another like main phase at the end or end phase. So. Mm -hmm. And combat has another little interesting bit, but we'll go and talk about that when it's relevant. Cool. You good? Yep, that's it for me. All right, disengaging. Man, the artwork's so good. All right. Uh, yeah, heck yeah. Yeah, all right. And keep uh, in mind, now that you have one of your, or you have one less or fewer 11-year cards than me, then you're going to be on short time. So right. any short time effects would be applicable. Yep. Uh... Yeah. All right. I'm going to play Brenna here. Oh, and you are on short time, so you can yeah. choose two of my 11 year cards to. So I can right. see these. Yep. They're just face up for the rest of the game. Yep. And that's important because now I know what he'll be able to attack if I, what he'll be able to play if I, um, if I damage them. Okay. Then I will let's see. That's a three. That's a two. I would definitely save Pollux for last. Yeah, because he's free and he also has Toxic in this deck. Yeah. All right. I like the idea of getting caught up to you, so I'm going to engage and destroy Oizen. To yep, you got it. To target that and abolish it, and then Tocho here can attack and i'm gonna hit this uh that card right there okay yep so it's a dithy and i'm unable to cast her because she costs three and i have no soul power remaining um yeah so uh here sorry you're good, no, you're good. um okay. she kind of works like a mystic snake in a way if you're familiar with that card mm -hmm. I'm going to play this as a resource this turn, and then I'm going to pass. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and draw for turn, and then hmm. I'm actually going to play Dithy to my soul row, and then uh, I need a blocker for Tocho that... Well, I guess I have Theodore, but you could kill him. So I'm going to go ahead and play another one in... Or, whoops, that's too many. Uh, Cleo. Okay. And then Brenna's a 10-6, so she won't trade into Theodore well. So I'm just going to swing that there. Hmm. I think I'm gonna. I don't know. I could trade with you. I. Yeah, but her engage ability That's lets her abolish. Yeah. yeah, so abolishing it would mean that I don't get to cast it or oh, anything. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I didn't realize that to abolish it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna. That's what, so that's all I'm gonna do. So, yeah, I will let you hit this. Okay. And then. Nice. Okay cost one and i will play it Ooh, about that i don't think you will be dang okay countered <laughs> all right all right all right i see how it is that's why i only played the cleo instead of something a little bit larger <laughs> all, all right. right uh yeah i'll i'll pass the turn now <laughs> all right uh we're gonna take a quick i gotta go get my daughter she's Ooh, ravana i actually i actually have a canvas of her up on my wall because Tanner just decided to send it to me. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, she's my favorite card. <laughs> she's awesome. Um All right. Now, does her uh, build, her beginning of combat, I wouldn't need to do that right now because she right. can't attack anyway. Mm -hmm. And then I've got 
Tocho, who's a four, but you can block here with uh, Cleo, so that would be a wash. And I am gonna pass. All right. Uh, okay. Ooh, nice. I'm gonna go ahead and oh wait, optimal. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and play Einar. That's gonna really oh, help. Oh no. I know. Uh, Einar's good. And then I'm uh, gonna unblockable is massive in this game. Yeah, but at least he he dies to like every and, form yeah. of removal. <laughs> Especially capital punishment, which only costs one. Yeah. But uh, I'm actually going to attack with Estrid right here. So Einar is actually kind of a meme in the community for people that have been in for a little bit, like uh, Sayid. Um, shout out. Uh, anyway, uh, so Einar, when we were first doing our like initial print run, uh, we forgot to swap out... Um, some of his text on the card and so his name was just name <laughs> it still said Einar can't block and Einar can't be blocked in his yeah. text box but it just said name <laughs> that's awesome and so there's only a select few names uh running around there so people have been trying to hoard those up <laughs> that's funny okay I am going to I think I'm gonna. I don't want to kill Ravenna. Uh, so I think I'm gonna take it. Which one were you hitting? Yep, that one. I, I just go from right to left until I have more information. All right. So Nadar. Okay. Uh, I cannot play that. So that goes to my hand. And then I'll pass the turn to you. Okie dokie. Hmm. All right, I'm going to... play Kieran? <laughs> I hate him. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty good. He's so good. He's so good. <laughs> so this says Toxic, it's... which uh, basically if he blocks, he dies, and then I'm short on time, so I would be able to play him for my Limbo Pile for four. Which um, may mean that you can continuously sacrifice him to Ravana yeah. as long as you still have less cards, but if you're attacking with Ravana, then you won't be. <laughs> yeah. She does... She has Ravenous, which means she right. would deal damage to two cards simultaneously. Right. That's awesome. And sidestep. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Crazy good. All right. Um, I'm also going to play... Oh, man. Yeah. No, no, no. This is good. Uh, I'm also going to play one, two, and play Vidar. Then I'm going to mm. play one and play another Tojo. Oh, okay. That's a lot more board than you had previous. <laughs> uh, okay. And then I will go to... Um, I will go to combat, beginning of combat. I'm going to sacrifice Vidar. Mm -hmm. uh, and I am short on time. Yep. So I will sacrifice Vidar, and then I can target any citizen card I want mm -hmm. to bring back to my hand, correct? Yep. I feel like... Can you help me out here? I feel like Oizen is the, the, the way to go. Uh, I mean, depending on what you're afraid of... I, hmm. Yeah, I feel like Oizen is the way to go just because I have Einar out. If I didn't have Einar out, then I would probably go with the, uh, um, oh my goodness, I'm blanking. Andras. Yeah, Andras, because then you could counter whatever yeah. you don't know is coming up. Right. Okay, um, that being said, uh, Rava uh, Ravana is going to, uh, 
Um, so I think the logic behind this would be to hit the one I know. Like, this doesn't really be that great. Yeah, it's okay, but it's not going to end the game. Yeah, so like, that one's definitely a safe bet. And then I'll hit the one to that side of it. All right, and then these are destroyed simultaneously. Wait, so I can choose. Uh, I would not. Yeah, that's, oh. the only thing. that's the only thing I would want to do anyway. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, so I get to choose which one I'll cast. Um... Hmm. I think I'm actually going to have to go with the Ozara here. Okay. And then I draw the Amund in my hand. Okay. And then uh, my go. Yeah. So now you are short time with two left and I've got three. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Things just got a lot more difficult for you. <laughs> Oh great! You just don't know it yet. <laughs> Can't wait. Um. Ooh, that's also mean. Uh, so I'm gonna attack with Einar, and I'm gonna go here. Okay. And can't be blocked, so no real issues mm -hmm. here. And then while that's destroyed, I'm gonna use Ozara's ability to return her to my hand, along with Ravana to yours. Ooh. And then I'm going to pay two, and I'm going to play Ozara again. Dang. Uh, and that's your go. <sighs> okay. Uh, so I've got to do something about Einar. Well, you have Oisin in hand. Yeah. Uh, all right. But I'll be able to bounce Oisin to your hand with Ozara and Einar. I'm not short on time, right? Uh, nope, we're equal. Hmm. Four, license two. And you can still put down another card from your... You're just going to be able to bounce... Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Better hope for a capital punishment off the top or from your right. 11 euro. I'm going to tap. I'm going to play Nadar and Oizen. Okay. Um, oh, I'm sacrifice. I'm sack Oizen to give. Sorry, I'm going to sack Nadar. My daughter's pulling my microphone down. I'm going to sacrifice Nadar to play Oizen uh, and give Oizen uh, basically summoning sickness or whatever it's called. Uh, what's it actually called? Sorry. Uh, Eager. Eager. And then I'm going to engage Oizen to, uh, abolish, to Einar. abolish Einar. Yep. Dang. Okay. That's a sequence and a half. Yeah. Uh, I think you just sacrifice Oizen. You don't actually yeah. abolish him. Okay. And then I will. I feel like I should. You don't have any unblockable yet, so if I wanted to play defensively, I would just sit back with with Kieran, or I could try to hit something and force you to... Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to get one of my cards next turn, which will allow me to play Kieran again. So the thing is, is if you swing in with Kieran, I could very well, like, since you're only swinging in with Kieran, I could just very well just take the damage and get an extra card, and then I'd have way more attackers available. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'll just pass. That makes sense. Okay. Because then uh, you'll be able to hit me for two. More. Yeah. And maybe, maybe win. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I could get a win. I'd have to get another eager, I think. But we'll we'll see. Um, ooh, never mind. You, I would have won. <laughs> oh wait, no, I, no, I, I can't count. Okay, never mind. It would have been, it would have been close. Um, ooh. so I think we're gonna drop down, aim on there, and we're gonna go ahead and just play Karina. 
so I now have a sidestepper. Dang it. So why that's uh, important, everyone, if you haven't been paying attention, is Ravana has sidestep, and you can only block with things with sidestep. So that was my, my big play here. Uh, and then I think... I think I want to force a bad trade with from you, so I'm going to attack with Cleo here. And what I mean by bad trade is I value all three of your one drops more than I value Cleo. So <laughs> I'd, I'd gladly trade into any of them or even just do the one damage. Yeah, I take the damage. All right. Uh, yeah. And then I'll pass to you. Okay, that works. All right, uh, disengage. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Uh, oh crap! You have okay. Well, you have side stuff that doesn't really matter because I'm gonna play. I'm just tapping everything at the same time because it's easier with my child. Uh -huh. um, I'm gonna play. Almas, and then I'm gonna mortal blow. I'm gonna mortal blow your um your side Karina. Sub, Karina. Yep. Okay. Yep. And because you're on short time, you don't have to abolish an 11 year card you control. Right. Um, and then uh from there. Let's see, Theodore's a two, that's a two. Um Man. Yeah, this is rough. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't think I can do anything. Go ahead. Yeah, the problem is I can't crack your defense just yet because it's just a little bit too much right. going on over there. But I think I can do a little bit more. So, Another Chloe, gosh. Yeah, Cleo, Cleo. is pretty great. Cleo, sorry. I had, a, uh, I had a dog named Cleo that bit me in the face when I was a kid. Oh, uh, ow? Yeah. <laughs> If, if you ever see me smile, you can't see me right, but other people, I have like a dimple right here, but it's actually scar tissue. Oh, interesting. But does it just look like a regular dimple? Y yeah, like where it is, it just looks like a dimple. That's why it's only one side of my mouth, my face. Oh, that's fortunate. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, hmm. Okay, now, there's two paths before me. The smart play and the math is for blockers play. And I'm not sure which one I want to do. Actually, I do know which one I'm going to do. Uh, math is for blockers. Uh, we're going to go ahead and swing both the Cleos. Did you just put a Cleo out? Yep, it has Eager, though. Oh, yep, yeah, okay, perfect. I just um, and then I'm going to swing Ozara at that as well and then both these at your face so i'm gonna put uh i'm gonna move the cleos over here and then these over here so this is all at the 11 year card and then these two are going at your face okay so the play here for me would be to let you take the 11 year card and not kill me uh so one of these would have to, i would have to you're gonna hit the 11 year or i could not block, necessarily you I, have I, four blockers yeah so in order to win the game, just to remind everybody, you have to kill all my 11-year cards and then deal damage to me. And that can happen simultaneously. Um, right. So my options here are to block you from hitting my 11-year card or to let you hit my 11-year card and then prevent you from hitting me. Mm -hmm. And I also have to manage a child. So uh, lots of decisions to be made. Yeah, lots That's, of plates spinning. Lots of plates spinning as I get criticized on the stream, I'm sure. Uh, so six six. T -t 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 -t. I can engage target. Uh, this isn't gonna do much here. Hypothetically, 
hypothetically, we will block here so I get an advantage of not dying. Mm -hmm. And then get rid of that thing. Let you hit the 11 year card. Keep in mind, when after you've chosen blockers, I get to choose the order in which things resolve. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Which is actually pretty important for this combat in particular. Okay. Especially considering Ozara. Where's Ozara? This is Ozara? She, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Dang. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I have to prevent you from destroying an 11 year card. Right. Because right. then I could I could bounce one of the Tochos back to your hand, you know, yeah. after I destroy the 11 year card. If I do it like that and not block one of these two, then I can do that, right? I, I could have a trick up my sleeve with this four mana to destroy that 11 year card without actually dealing combat damage to it yeah, who but knows like, if you do that then you win <laughs> so. well if these guys get through after I destroy that 11 year card but if I don't block them all they're gonna get oh I see what you're saying so I could put Torcho no oh I mean no because then so I, I wouldn't do that because uh, if Cleo gets through I could choose to have this happen first and then I would bounce Ozara to my hand and bounce whatever, like one of the two yeah. Tochos, and then I would get through to your face. Okay, help me out. What's the smart block? Uh, no, it's what you're it. It's what you're doing before. Uh, honestly, I wouldn't even block with a Tocho. Yeah, okay. I was just trying to bluff. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, so that's how I'll do it. Okay, so I believe these two trade. So mm -hmm. we'll do that first. Uh, then I get to probe one. Um. That's pretty good, but I think I think I value that a little bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then uh, I guess these two will trade, and I'll probe one again. Uh, do, do they trade? Uh, not trade. My bad. Yeah, Arlington uh, has six six, and that one is a yeah. five. Whatever. Uh, hmm. okay. I, I'm just dropping that there, and then. Uh, these two trade. Yep, because Keegan toxic. Ha Kieran has toxic, which is yep. Essentially, death touch for yeah. you magic players. Toxic, which is toxic. Uh, death touch. No, I, I know. I, I was calling it toxic. It's a, it's oh, it a, is it pretty a, toxic. It was a, <laughs> but it was a play on for me personally, the uh, uh, every time or initially when I saw the keyword toxic, it, just that Britney Spears song kept playing in my head. <laughs> Classic. Anyway, uh, that's it for my turn, so I'll pass it to you. Okay. Hmm. Disengage. Let's see. Ooh. So, Alamus can do damage to two 11-year cards simultaneously, because he has Ravenous. Yes. And I have two 11-year yeah. cards remaining. Yes. So, I could swing in hypothetically swinging for the wind, but you're going to have something up your sleeve. Because mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't have swung in yeah. all at once if I didn't have something. Or um, just a big bluff. Who yeah. knows? <laughs> uh, I mean, I feel like the best bet is to call that bluff. You, uh, I know you have it, but I don't know how to... Re I don't know what I should be playing at this point, because I don't know what that would be. So... I will do that. Right. I will target those and then target you with. Okay, so I'm actually gonna let the Alamus hit the cards first. Yep. So perfect. So I'm going to play the imposed withdrawal. Okay. And I'm gonna bounce the Tocho back to your hand and draw a card. Okay. And then I draw the uh, Clapton Irons. Actually, I'll play the Clapton Irons too and just destroy your Alamus. Okay. And then 
All right, so now... That was pure luck, honestly. I I yeah. also had this card in my hand. Wow. That I was going to nice. prevent the damage from the Tocho and just draw the two cards, now, whatever they were. Would that have prevented the damage from the uh, on the 11-year cards, too? Yes. Okay. Interesting. But if I if I wait till after the eleven year cards are destroyed and then I cast this, then I prevent only the damage to my face. Gotcha. All right, so I still have four resources here, and I can still play a resource if I want. Oh, uh, dang. I can't do that though, because you're gonna be swinging me with two. Does anything have sidestep? No. The five. There's seven five, and eight seven. So let's see what I can put out that I can eight seven seven five. Mm. Uh, all right, I'm temp three of these and play uh, Chiwa. Mm. Um. And I think the only other option I have based on my resources and the current state of the game is to play the Tojo again, which isn't ideal, but it does prevent you from losing. Yeah, that is nice. All right, uh, you go. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hmm. I can't kill you this turn. You know, I think it's still just the best play for tempo, maybe. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to just go ahead and tap everything. I'm going to play Muriel. I'm going to bounce Chiwa to your hand. Okay, Muriel. Turn to your citizen. All right. And then I'm going to swing both these two at... Oh, wait, hold up, hold up. That was almost a huge mistake. I'm going to swing just Estrid at that card. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. Estrid that would that would have been a very embarrassing misplay of the century. <laughs> I'm going to... I'm going to let you hit it. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I draw it. All right, we're both at the 11th year. Yeah, I, I call this the finest hour. The finest hour. Yep. My go? Yep. All right, come on. Give me some sort of destroy. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, I will tap one. If you have a capital punishment in hand, I'm going to cry. Oh, well, I'm going to throw out an Elgor. Elgor? Ooh, Elgor? And Elagor. Elagor and probe one. To Which would I, let you see if I can draw into it. Capital punishment. Ah, dang it. Uh, and then. Um, oh, this one. I draw one, then discard one, right? Mm -hmm. And then I've got three resources. You could make it four. You haven't yeah. played a resource for I don't have anything that's like cost four, though. Um. Do you have two cost twos? No, I don't. I have like a three and a five and another three. It's pretty awkward. Well, you're not going to be able to play the five if you don't drop down a resource. Yeah, that's, that's fair. Uh, I will play this here. Or you could use that to draw two How? and then see if you can get the capital punishment. And then play another thing for resource instead. Wait, but I can't do that. What? Oh, you may place one of them. No, uh, oh, so yeah. if you... Oh, heck yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I want to draw two for sure. Right? No. Yeah. Well, if I... Why not? Because I can play a hero. I can play a creature, and, or I can play well, a... So Capital Punishment only costs one, right? right but then and I'm just have trying to... a resource return. But if I play... If I pay three resources to play Somber Sacrifice, mm -hmm. then I'm taking a risk at if I hit the Capital Punishment. If I don't hit the Capital Punishment then I die. Yeah, I'm not sure. I I'm, I'm just don't know how you... Well, so I guess you could just wait till you have a turn with Elagor if you can survive. Right. Like I think the play is trying to survive. 
Mm. I, I would personally go on the offense, but that's you, just I, I'm a risk taker. Because you have in your hand. <laughs> I'm a risk taker. That's that's all I'm saying. I like one the shields in, are down now. I have like a one in eighteen chance of hitting the card that kills your card. Uh, uh, all, right. all right, all right. Here we go. Let's go for it. Let's go with your your way. So I will play somber sacrifice. Uh, if I control no eleven of your cards, I draw two instead. That costs mm -hmm. me three resources. But you still have yet to play your card for yeah. turn, or your resource card for turn. Yeah. So one in eighteen percent chance that I hit the. Nah. Do no, you draw two cards? Not oh, I draw one. two. Two in eighteen chance. Draw two. Uh. Okay. Okay. Wait. Wait. Uh. Oh. Uh. Mm, yes. Uh, wait. Am I? I'm not short on time. Dang it. No. I got the I got the fatal poke. Uh, which costs I mean, two anyway, so I can't play it. Oh, dang. Yeah. All right. Uh, I will drop a resource at least for the next go round. Oh, I'm dead. This game. Well, I mean, okay, uh, that was a bad call. On my no, it's part. fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. See, I knew like what the, was happening. <laughs> I knew it. The thing I, is, is that like, if you did happen to survive your next turn. Then my next turn, I would have Eros in Sky's favor. Yeah. So like you weren't getting through. Yeah. Well, show them what happens anyway. You're gonna swing with all three, and I yeah can, I can only block two. So it mm -hmm. was it was one of those things where like it was a educated guess based on only what I, you said to me. Uh, right. But uh, yeah. So if I so was, if you if, did get the capital punishment, you could have just blasted Theodore and then swung in with Tocho for lethal because he couldn't. Uh, Muriel couldn't block him. Yeah. Let's see. Where's capital punishment? Well, I just no. Just uh, if you search, it's gonna be like it. Yeah. It, it was the fifth card guard. Oh. So it, it was. There's a only one I... copy of it in the deck. Yeah. So if I would have hit that, I would have won. That was the risk that I took everyone. If I'm building a deck, like so, yeah, the starter decks are a little, a little wonky, like with what cards are put in them. Uh, I would run like three of of yeah. capital punishment. Is that the maximum? <laughs> yes. Uh, so yeah, forty card minimum, hundred card maximum, three of max. This is great. Awesome. Yeah. That was a ton of fun. I like I love the mechanic of the the 11 year card. I the first game got a little bit uh clunky when I was trying to kill you. It got a little <laughs> bit like it felt a little clunky, but then I opened it up. Um and I'm sure that that goes away with not playing the precons too. Like the precons are always clunky in uh, most games. I think that trying to finish off a player on the same turn you're removing their last 11 year card is always going to be a little bit more difficult than just killing them if they have no 11 year cards remaining because mm. there's a lot of options available to the player to survive one last turn yeah um so uh it's better to just chip away slowly if you if you're not sure the uh the dynamics of this game and the strategy behind things i think will is can really open up this this like 11 year card wall that's like instead of damaging i think one of the hardest things to understand is like the the power and toughness of the citizens is not as important as it is in like magic creatures mm -hmm. like it's just not that important you're basically right it's just not that important and um it's, yeah it's really cool to try to play the game of hitting the 11 year cards in or in order to get to the soul or in order to hit the uh the opponent uh it's mm -hmm. a really really cool mechanic i like it a lot yeah, I, I think that the game has a lot of legs as far as like it because I, I I had an issue with the Pokemon prize system because it just rewards the winning player and so they're just gonna snowball out of control and win. So it's like the opposite of the prize system from Pokemon. It's also uh, similar to the shield system from Duel Masters or in uh, Dragon Ball. And also like okay, so let's let's utilize this card right here. If I had not played this into my soul later in the game i would have been able to win if that was in my hand because i would have like in the last turn if this was in my hand i would have been able to play it and then return the citizen that you uh, re i could have returned your uh theodore i think that was able to block mm -hmm. and then i would have been able to swing in with tojo uh or i don't mm -hmm. know you know and then Tocho what other cards did you have in your hand 
Um, I had uh, like, wait, hold on. I had like an awkward hand. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to see. Okay, so actually, do you know how you win here? It's it's pretty awkward because so you know how uh you had uh you got the Elagor out right and you still had three remaining. Yeah. So if you cast this card right here, and you brought out Nadar and then sacrifice him to give your Elagor eager and then swing in through well I don't have any sidesteppers. Oh dang! So I could have pulled it off. So renewed tenac tenacity tenacity. Uh, return target citizen in my limbo pile. Okay, with the total... Dang. All right. Yeah, see, like, there's so much to it. I like it. Yeah. Uh, I thought that your play with the uh, Oisin and Nadar earlier was pretty great. I think I would have seen it without my daughter. I'm going to blame this on my daughter. And yeah. it's going to go down I mean, on, yeah. on, on video on the internet forever. And when she's, like, 15, she's going to watch this video and be like, wow, Dad, you threw me under the bus. I'm going to blame it mm -hmm. on my daughter. Like, I was distracted. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, you had so many plates juggling. How are you going to look at your limbo pile? Like, yeah, you know. Come on. That's I mean, fun. Yeah. You had the win right there. That's you did fun. it. That's hilarious. I mean, theoretically. I, I did not do it. No, I did not. I took your advice <laughs> and shot for the moon and lost. Well, I just didn't know what held her. I, I knew you had know, the somber sacrifice in hand because I had seen it from your 11 year old, but. Oh, man. Well, Q, thank you so much for playing and for, you know, working with um, Tanner to create this game. And it's yeah. awesome. So this launches this week. Uh, this is, again, my second game. We've we've done the kind of um, uh, first look. I, I don't know if we've opened. I don't know when I'm posting this video. So uh, I don't know. I guess I'll probably post it before we open the cryptic box. What's the uh, the 66 riddle box, which is another really cool yeah. thing that we'll get into. And uh, so lots of really sweet stuff coming up. We'll do an interview with Tanner here in a couple days uh, in the middle of the Kickstarter. And then hopefully we'll have a like a learn to play video at some point. Um, yeah. Pretty awesome. Hugh, thank you so much for playing and for your work on this. And I will leave the link to the Discord mod and uh, Tabletop Simulator. Sorry, I'll leave a link to the Discord and the Tabletop Simulator mod in the comment section of this video if anybody wants to watch it. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. Remember, be kind to the people around you. And we'll see you again next video. See ya.